What's up, everyone? This is Joseph Lahiff, and today we are talking about vision, mission, and goals. So, so far, you have your why that drives and motivates you when things get hard. And you've identified your values, your accidental, your aspirational, your permission to play, your core personal and core business values. Now we're gonna take those things and we're going to put them together to look at the future, to look at the, your personal mission and maybe align that with some goals as we go forward. So let's talk about what the difference is between those things. The, it, sometimes these words get mushmashed together and people use vision to say mission and mission to say vision. There's a really distinct difference between them. And look at them like this. The vision is your really big thing out there far. It's, it's really the way you think about the future and what you think the future should be like. Your ideal version of uh, the world your, your impact uh, of your business and your life on the world and how things will be different in that future. Uh, it's usually stated with uh, visual terms. I see things like this in the future. We see in the future it will be like <clears throat> these things. Uh, the, the words are very uh, visual in, in nature. The next step is to talk about your mission. So your, your mission is taking that vision and saying, what am I going to do? What is my business's way of helping make that vision come true? That, that vision may take more than just your organization, more than just your company to make it happen. And so, and so your, your mission is taking that thing to the next level going on, going further, <clears throat> and really fleshing out the way your business is going to reach that vision. And it may be that, that there's multiple businesses that meet your vision, and maybe you own most multiple, vision, multiple businesses in the end that reach towards your vision, but they'll each have their own mission. <clears throat> and the, the third grouping is goals. Goals are these small incremental things that are used to move you in the right direction through the vehicle of your mission to achieve your vision. So get that idea. The goals are, are the fuel that drive, that, that run your mission, which is the vehicle that gets you to your desired future. So that's the, that's the analogy to think about. Gas in the car, driving you down the road to the future, okay? Uh, goals should be uh, atomic. They should be um, discrete, separatable from one another. Um, and they should truly move you closer to your goal. You wanna keep your, to your goal, to, to your future vision through the mission, right? So you wanna keep a goal backlog that is adaptable that you're able to uh, reprioritize if you need to probably things that should goals should be things that take somewhere between uh, one to four weeks max uh, i like to look at them that way that way they're they're um, achievable and you you continue to feel accomplished as you go through like you're actually making progress because you know, if you don't make progress towards your goal, if you're just always talking or always thinking or always working on it, working on it, working on it, but you're not actually seeing the progress being made and feeling the change, feeling the movement forward, then y you'll get discouraged. Um, believe me, <clears throat> been there. So your goals should, should move you that way. So let's talk about your mission and your vision for a second. The, the vision part of this, I'm actually going to record a separate audio for you, and I'll give you the link for it in your kit when you get started. Uh, but this is going to be a guided visualization, uh, sort of uh, a meditation, if you will, about the, your future, about the future you envision for your business. Um, the way the world will be different because of you and because of your, your business. <clears throat> So we'll, uh, I'll leave that to that. You'll take that, do that guided meditation. And then when you're done with it, write it down. Write down what you, f what you visualized that future looking like. And then once you've got that in place, 
Uh, next thing to do is to develop a mission statement. Now your mission is going to be again the vehicle that drives you. Uh, it's important to describe this vehicle well because this is the thing that most people will will think about when they think about your business. Now you want to drive them to thinking about your vision of the future and the and the mission is really a vehicle that gets you there. So you want to help people understand that when you're describing it to them. But they'll often people will often ask you, well, what's your elevator pitch or what is your your two second description, your you know, 30 second description of your business. And this is a great tool to just help you be able to spit it out really fast and say, this is what we this is what I do. This actual model is taken from Jeffrey Moore's Crossing the Chasm book. Uh, it's, it's an older book about uh, the, about the distribution of uh, technology and ideas uh, through an or, through uh, society. But uh, this mission statement is in it. It's really good. So we use it. I use it a lot with my customers and clients. So the mission statement is for, and then you name your customers in there. Who are your customers? What's your ideal customer? So this may take some time. You need to identify it. What are the, what are the things that make your customer unique and, and, and your target niche? Are they other business owners? Are they consultants? Are they um, students? Are they drivers of a particular car? Are they equestrians? Are they whatever? What is, the, what is your market? And niche them down as specifically as you can so that it's clear who you really serve. Uh, and then you want to state their needs. So if it's uh, for, I'm going to use it, equestrians, I'm pulling this right now out of my hat. So um, for equestrians who are dissatisfied with just having a Fitbit on their wrist, our product is a Fitbit for your horse. It provides key metrics and measurements of your horse's activity heart rate, how often they trot, walk, canter, jump. Unlike a regular Fitbit, our product tracks the health of the horse, not just the health of the rider. That's the idea uh, for our customers who need something. What's the need you're meeting? Our product is, what's the name of your product? The Whizbang Soda Pop <laughs> is a uh, soft drink Unlike colas, it's made with whiz bang. <laughs> no, under, unlike our competitors category, our product or service does, our product provides this unique capacity. And so why would someone want to buy it? If, when you get this, it's easy to just say really fast what it is you do and for whom state really clearly why they need it and what the what the outcome is of your product. So that's it for this one. It's again, it's really short. These are these are a couple of short ones to get you moving fast, but they're important for you to understand well so that you can again uh, stick it through the long term because there's a long term prospect here. So uh, action steps are to do that guided vision process, write it down when you're done and share that with someone else. Help Again, it needs to be someone who's entrepreneurial, who thinks big, uh, not just a, 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 your, your regular employee friend who doesn't necessarily get it when you talk about what it means to really think big. When you're really thinking big, you, you might get um, the wrong kind of input from that, that kind of a person, just saying, just to be safe. The next is develop your elevator pitch using the Jeffrey Moore's elevator pitch for who our product is uh, unlike. Our product or service is uh, use the, the worksheets to come up with your elevator pitch. And again, share it. Share it with your friends. Share it with your coach. Get feedback. Get some understanding of what is this. Share it with your, your cohort team. <clears throat> get some understanding uh, of what they think. Help you refine it. They'll ask you questions about it. Maybe you won't have answers and you'll have to go back and refine it and hone it. It'll be great. This is a great process and it'll help you really clarify what it is that you do and why. All right, thank you for being with me today. This is Joseph Lahiff.